Without even thinking about it, most of us type all sorts of interesting information into this tiny rectangle known as a search bar. We ask stupid questions, we research the latest trends, we look for random recommendations, and behind the scenes we are unknowingly feeding the search engine the food it craves. Things like our interests, our location, our device, our browser, all of this data is being gathered, analyzed, and turned into a detailed profile that is sold off to the highest bidder, or potentially used against us in criminal or civil law cases. Now, in some instances, like Amazon, for example, we really don't have much of a choice. If you want to buy a product and have it delivered to your door, you have to log in to some sort of account giving over a lot of personal information, like your name, your credit card number, your house address, and so on. But search, search is different. You do have a choice, whether you realize it or not. And today we're gonna to walk through a privacy-focused alternative known as StartPage. I'll explain what it is and then provide you with four pro tips to add another free level of privacy while you're surfing the internet. Welcome to All Things Secured. My name's Josh, and before we start, I wanna be clear that this is a sponsored video. A number of you guys have asked me about StartPage, and I've been using the search engine for a while now. So when the company contacted me to do a deeper dive into how private search works, I felt like it was a good match. I use the service, it's free for you to use, and it helps to support this channel. There are so many different reasons why you might want to keep your online searches private, and I'm certainly not condoning anything illegal or destructive to your marriage or to your health. I know people who wanted privacy to search for help with medical issues, perhaps checking on some embarrassing symptoms and unexpected pregnancy, or even mental health issues that they didn't want the whole world to know about. I mean, it could also be something as silly as searching for unmentionables for your spouse and not wanting to have those kind of ads following you around everywhere you go for the next year. Or something like searching on your work device about financial or family issues and not wanting the information recorded by your company's IT department. But these are simply examples that underscore a universally shared idea that we often take for granted. We all expect a certain level of privacy in our personal lives, a level of privacy that we deserve, quite frankly, because search is something that we do every day, and it is highly personal. For this video, I'm gonna focus on how you can take control over your personal data now by searching in private. How can we search anonymously online? First off, if you're one of those people who still thinks that it works just to use the incognito window of your browser and search while being logged into your online accounts, whether that's Facebook, Google, Twitter, Amazon, or others, I've got some bad news for you. You've been lulled into a false sense of privacy. Although there is no such thing as a 100% foolproof online privacy method, it is remarkable to understand what is possible, and that's what I wanna share with you today. We're gonna be using StartPage as our foundation here, not only because it's a company protected by the data privacy laws of the European Union, which are considerably stronger than those of the United States where many other search engines are based, and not only because they never store your personal data or search history, but also because StartPage has a special agreement with Google to use their arguably superior search results. As Fast Company once put it, StartPage is Google without the privacy headache. It's easy enough to simply type startpage.com into your browser and start searching, and that definitely works, but give me just a few minutes to explain how these four pro tips will really make a difference. Okay, pro tip number one. If you want the always-on security to search or browse the internet anonymously, it makes a difference how you've set your default search settings within your browser. And since most of us, at least I think most of us, generally start our searches by typing questions or queries into that browser address bar, that means changing your default search engine. If you use the Brave or Vivaldi browsers, you'll see, like right here, start page is a default option. For all other browsers, including Firefox and Chrome, you can install an easy extension by visiting add.startpage.com to set it as your default. Now, when I search in my address bar, you can see that I'm automatically getting results from StartPage's private search engine that doesn't store my IP address or doesn't store my history of search terms. Pro tip number two, control the flow of your search. What exactly does this mean? Well, most of the time when we perform a traditional non-private search, there's a lot of the pieces of personal data that are used to inform the results. For example, if I'm looking for scores from last weekend's football games, searches done from within the US will show NFL American football games, while those pretty much anywhere else in the world would show soccer or football or 
soccer, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, that's a simple example, but your personal location and prior browsing history data can really make or break good search results, which is why private search can be really tricky. Jumping into the settings dashboard for start page, you'll find that you have control of a lot more than you realize to get the most relevant results for your preferred language. You can specify which region you want to filter results from. So if you're in the United States, you likely want to get search results that benefit you as a resident of the US. Or let's say you're an expatriate living abroad like me right now. You can make sure that all of your search results come in your own language from your home country every single time. If I scroll down to the bottom, I recommend you use the post HTTP request method, which is the most secure, at least a little bit. You'll see this in action anytime you perform a search. So let's say I search best coffee maker on start page. You'll see that this information isn't passed along in the URL. Whereas with almost every other search engine, this data is clearly available in the URL. I also want to control where my search data is routed. In the case of start page, I can either have them choose the closest, fastest server, or I can specifically choose the EU or the US. Because of the strict privacy laws that I mentioned earlier, I almost always choose the EU. Sometimes it's a little bit slower, but it adds an extra layer of protection there. Pro tip number three is a unique feature I really love about start page called anonymous view. When you click this little mask icon next to the search result, instead of being sent directly to the website, you'll essentially be viewing the website through a start page protected window. You see, in most cases, when you click over to a website from a search page, even from a private search engine, you're leaving the safety of that little protected environment. And now the website you visit has a full view of your IP address, your device specs, and other information that it can use to fingerprint you. With anonymous view, the website only sees start page as its visitor, not you. You're using start page as a proxy, which not only allows you to remain anonymous for any website you don't particularly trust, but it also gives you that added benefit of forcing an HTTPS secured connection. In other words, you could even use this as a way to confidently surf the web on a public network at coffee shops or airports without fear of leaking any data. Even your internet service provider can't see your browsing history when you're using anonymous view. Finally, pro tip number four is learning how to perform advanced searches within search bar. There are two ways to do this. And the first is to simply mimic what's possible on Google since you're getting the same search results. For example, you can search for Mustang and get results about the car. But if you want to do a search to exclude certain terms, you can easily do that by adding a hyphen. So if you knew you weren't searching for the car, you could type Mustang space hyphen cars and get results that aren't all about the Ford Mustang. You can search a specific website by typing your search term and then site followed by the website address. You can use quotes to search exact phrase matches or even asterisks if you have specific lyrics you can't remember. In addition to these general Google search hacks though, StartPage also has their own summary results feature they call instant answers. For example, you can search time zone differences by inputting time X to Y. So if I'm scheduling a call with somebody in the Eastern time zone, but I'm here in Indochina time, I can just type in 9 p.m. ICT to EST. The same goes for currency conversion. So you could type in convert 100 USD to bot to get the current exchange rate between US dollars and Thai bot. For weather, you can type in weather followed by any city or zip code. You can ask for a translation by typing translate privacy to Spanish or translate any word into any language. The point of all of this is to show you that not only is private search possible, it also doesn't require you to sacrifice everything in terms of search quality or functionality. In fact, you gain a lot of extra control of how your search data is stored, where the data is routed, and how you visit those websites. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and go visit startpage.com to try it out for yourself. As always, thank you for watching, for your support, and stay safe.